When Henry Hudson sailed into New York Harbor in 1609, he didn't discover a city of tall buildings. He found an island covered in forest and hills. The Leni Lenape Indians who lived here called it Manahata, which means island of many hills. How can we know what Manhattan looked like 400 years ago? We went to the West Village to ask Eric Sanderson. He's figured it out by using old maps like this one. Oh, it turns out that in the uh, late 18th century that we're talking about, that's just when they were figuring out how to do mapping. So they didn't have GPS, you know, like our iPhone or our car, but they had everything else that modern map makers use. They use uh, theodolites to measure angles, they use chains to measure distances, they have plane tables so they could actually make maps in the field, and they made hundreds of maps during the American Revolution. And then we can use modern computers to piece those maps together, and then to to break them apart, to understand, to make a, a map of the streams, and a map of the hills, and a map of the wetlands, and then all those, add those all up to create the ecology. Not just the ecology of 200 years ago during the American Revolution, but the ecology of 400 years ago when Henry Hudson first arrived. There were black bears roaming wild and whales in the harbor. Here in Washington Square Park, there were streams and salt marshes and, yes, hills. It's actually a set of hills that were on the other edge of the park the sand hills, as they were called, and they were probably sand left by the glaciers 400 years ago. The stream used to come down and bend, and the reason it bent is because it hit another hill that was just where these buildings are, over here beyond the trees. And they all decided that there was a valley with a little salt marsh, and then you could see all the way to Staten Island. What happened to all those hills? They were chopped down. So this is before bulldozers, right? These are just, you know, men with picks and shovels. Um, and horses and burrows and removing the hills um, and taking it away because they wanted it to be flat as they came through here. Why do we care what Manhattan used to look like? It might help us prepare for the future. Hurricane Sandy came uh, three years ago in New York and it tended to flood the places that used to be old salt marshes. And everybody was very surprised, right? But if they remembered that it used to be a salt marsh, then they might have thought that might flood and so they might have built their buildings there differently. What do you think Manhattan will look like in another 400 years?